Hi guys, welcome to another episode of World of Truck. This is the American version, American Truck Simulator. My name is Wilfred and a very happy new year to all uh, truckers out there, be as in-game or real life. May your journey be always pleasant, safe and fun as well. Um, I hope you got a chance to get the Dragon the Truck Design Pack, which is a reward from the event. I've got videos uh, cover that event as well. So I'm going to drive some truck here. Why? Because my skill is uh, near to max. Uh, you know, as you do trucking, you can experience. I would like to just you know get my last point uh, for for the sake of like completion. Um, you know. It's good to achieve something here. So um, some ask, like, uh, you know, what, what sort of uh, strategy do you want to go into talent distribution? I, I mean, there, there are many school of thought, but uh, I think, you know, the one that you need to pay attention to is to open up job opportunity because things like the high value cargo, fragile cargo, just in time delivery, it, once you have one point in it, then you'll be able to get uh, extra job opportunity. Uh, hazardous cargo as well, at least get three points to it first initially because that will give you at least uh, more more options to transport. I haven't really seen a lot of like a class uh, class six uh, by the way, uh, class eight. Uh, but you know, I, I think I think at least the first three is something that you should pay attention to. Long distance is important as well because I think I think at least get like you know three of them so that I can transport quite a lot of jobs around uh, the America, uh, the three American states. Uh, so that that will be my my advice to you and also just in time delivery make sure they got two points to it because you get uh, you get the urgent delivery so uh, one point is important delivery two points urgent de delivery um, so yeah I mean get three point here three point here one one two I don't need to worry about fuel economy uh, but if you're starting what do you want to do first well I think get some long distance first one or two or three uh, then after that you can start to clock in at least one of them you know two of these Alright, so now, um, I'm going to take something far, so what shall I do? This video is going to be long, but uh, I mean, trucking video, you got, you got to have patience to, to watch a trucking video. This is not racing. I'm going to take a very long route from Tucson, Arizona into uh, Truckee, hang on a second, uh, into Truckee, the... Uh, yep, into Truckee, so that, that is roughly around... Um, around 938 miles. You know what? I, at first I thought I saw something else actually. Ah, there you go. This is about 955. Well, sometimes you do a refresh and things may look different. So I'm going to do this one, Tucson to, to Yukia in California. So welcome back. I've just started the, uh, the journey, picked up my cargo here and I'm going to um, go into the highway soon. Okay, I can go now. It's a really long trailer so or cargo here so I have to be mindful a little bit on on where things are Twenty-four hours to reach the reach the destination. It's a long way to go. Long way. Okay, just what I am transporting is tableware. Um, about thirty-two thousand pound. It's rather heavy. the car on my right.
five hours before my next rest stop, so that would be 2 p.m. I need to rest. Hmm, I really should keep right, I guess. I think I need to... Ooh. Yeah, a bit of confusion here. I was wondering where I should be going in front. It's not a road system here. It's a really long trailer. Right, so in front there's a truck, so I think I better stay on this lane. find the right time to cut back in. Maybe now? This might be quite long, so I have to be a little bit careful. So, passing by an airport here. Um, is it Phoenix City? Huh. And you know what, I stay on this lane. Yeah, that, that was the Phoenix Airport. I've uh, delivered goods here as well, by the way. So in front, I have to not to exit, I just keep going straight and then after that we'll bend to the left and try to like, you know, <laughs> get myself oriented here. keep going straight I think I'll stay on this lane as well <laughs> a little bit confusing huh um, okay so that is the one that stay on this lane I still stay on this lane Phoenix hmm this car in front is a little bit slow Over. more like a highway all the way 
um, all the way to my destination in Yukia. Bank account now has about 3.6 million. Uh, that's from my company, of course. I've got all the uh, garage unlocked. 12 garage. Uh, each garage can hold five, uh, including myself. So my Red Panda United has um, 60 drivers right now going around and earning money. Right now, yeah, it's a lot of money there. Don't know what to do with it anymore. I think I can just like uh, do any paint job I like, you know, regardless of cost. That's nice. I could upgrade the uh, trucks for my driver as well. There's a hot air balloon right in front. Police car just went by. So I think I'll end up like 4 or 5 million by the time I finish this job. <laughs> I don't think I need to try for money anymore. Okay, so there are some slow traffic in front, so after this I'm going to overtake. Then there is another one, the slow traffic on my end. So I'm gonna cut back in. Now there is a very high chance, yeah, I knew it. There's a very high chance that they actually cut back in front of me. I think there's a plane just flying by, uh, maybe spraying insecticide, I don't know. Pesticide, sorry. Uh, you guys tell me, you guys from America. Passing through a river, I think. Um, some of these roads I really can't recognize anymore after they have uh, rescaled the map. Convertible. Nice. I think in front it was, uh, I don't know what's that in front. Another road? Maybe. Okay, still going on. Um, nothing really remarkable right now. Just in the highway. 10. Sometimes I do find it very therapeutic when I, when I play this game. Um, even when I watch my video back, <laughs> I could like, you know, take a nap halfway and then uh, continue again. <laughs> yeah. Just sometimes some of these games are less, uh, less straining, more relaxing. It's one of those. But of course, you know, you have to watch out for, for quite a few things, you know, but once you get on the highway, it can be rather therapeutic. Yeah. Okay, so I need to plan my route. Uh, I think I need to find a rest stop somewhere to rest. Let me see, I'm approaching um, Aranberg. 
And the there's no ooh, okay, so there's a petrol station up there. Otherwise, uh, if I could last until here, probably I'll just go until here. Uh, more natural for me to. Uh, I think I I think I can probably make it there. I don't know. We'll see. And the worst is that I get dozed off. That's all. <laughs> So I'm going to bypass this one, this opportunity, and try to press on for the next rest stop. Aranberg. One hour, 41 minutes. Uh, do you think I can last until there? We shall see. This is getting exciting. Ooh. And he keep yawning. So in front, there's an exit or not? I think it's not going to be exit. It's some kind of like a GPS error. Or not. Don't trust the GPS. Trust your instinct. It's just going straight. <laughs> there you go. And the wild wild west. Let me do a five by view. Uh, yeah, there you go. Maybe not. <laughs> well, my uh, my, you know, you see my dashboard there uh, at the uh, console is red in color. The bad sign means that I desperately in need of sleep. Very much sorry of my life, actually. So I need to find a rest stop pretty soon, which is in another one hour and fifteen minutes time. I think I should be okay. <sighs> He'll probably be dozing off soon. But with my superb trucking skill, he should survive. We shall see. So if I rest now, I think rest is 14 hours. So I'll wake up at 2 a.m. if I'm not wrong. 2.06, 2.07, we shall see. Alright, it's getting a little bit concerning. 53 minutes. Hmm. How far am I to the next rest stop? So that is the uh, our central front. Things getting a little bit more exciting now. Um, I think I need to cut back in just in case the exit is soon. Thirty nine minutes. Man, this this guy suddenly accelerate. You know, it was doing slow, and suddenly accelerate. It doesn't make sense, really. Like, um, it just doesn't make sense. Why would he do that? I need to cut back in. So that is my rest stop. I think, well, okay, fine. I think this is more for cars. <laughs> I definitely haven't been here before, as you can see.
That is for car and this is for truck. So where do I stay? Hang on a sec. So I need to just uh, push my way into here like this, yeah? Right, so there you go. Right, so this is my rest stop. And as you can see, that is my truck. I'm going to fast forward time here. I think you I wake up at 3 a.m. if I'm not wrong. No, 11 p.m. How does it work? 10 hours, is it? So I'm going to sleep again. And it rains. Daytime. Lovely. Alright, so let me continue with doing this. So here we go, and it's raining. Let me on the wind wiper. And make sure there's no car on this side. How do you see actually? Hmm. How about this side? This side is fine as well. Has the rain stopped? I don't really see a lot of rain on the rain screen. Maybe it has stopped. Huh? The road looks a little bit wet though. Let me just uh, off it. Let's see what happened when I off it. Yep, it just rained at the rest stop, that's all. So I got a little bit wrong, it's actually 10 hours of rest and 14 hours of trucking. Um, so yeah, I always thought the other way around. Ah, it rains again! Wow. So I'm getting prepared to pull over. Uh, they may ask me to go and wait myself. Why not? My gas tank is still very much uh, healthy, so I just go on, push on. See, look at the rain on my side side window. It's so realistic, isn't it? It's wonderful. I love this game, really. Simulator. They should do a snowing or something like that. I don't know whether trucks would actually do anything while they are snowing out there. Do they put on like snow tire or chains and do a trucking? I have no idea really. Not from that part of the world. In my part of the world it's sunshine every day. Well at least it's like uh, 30 degrees Celsius. Alright, raining hard. What would a flyby view look like? Hang on a sec. Yeah, it's something like that. Um, yeah, it's raining rather heavily. Police car and uh, let me just nope. Hmm. I think I should over overtake the bunch of cars in front. Maybe after this taxi, huh? Or this yellow car. Yep. I know I, I'm doing it a little bit early, but uh, usually opportunity don't come by when I need to overtake. Sounds pretty heavy though. Rain, thunderstorm. I 
I think it'd be great if there would be like some flooding or whatnot, you know, like puddle of water that you, <laughs> you run on it and there's a lot of water like splashing out everywhere. More realistic. Uh, and my part of the world sometimes the rain will be quite strong, uh, quite heavy. And there'll be like puddle of standing water on the side. Then as you drive on it, then the splash onto the other side of the highway. <laughs> Rather interesting. Alright, so still going on to Las, Los Angeles. I think I can uh, come back here, I guess. Out of good road manner. manner. So there's the bus. Oh, man, I think I'm catching up to the bus. So let me just do this way. Tour bus, West Coast tour. Right, so I think I should cut back in when I have the opportunity like now then there's another truck in front what shall I do? Hmm. I think I should there's a car coming as well see there you go that's why I man oh man I have totally missed the exit so So I've, I've missed the exit <laughs> And we are going via the biggest field I think it's going to be the same And over here is bright and shiny. Okay, let me off the wiper. The road seems wet, but it's bright and shiny over here. See, four million. Wonderful dollars So I'm sticking on to this link for sure. Auto cruising. Go straight to a uh, biggest field. Staying on to these two lanes, Fresno. Overtaking this truck. Still overtaking. I think I can come back in now. Oh, 
Well, there's an accident in front. <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. Incident like that happens, huh? Oh, I don't know why this car is so slow. This truck is so slow. Wow, this guy needs to move out of the way, man. Seriously. Ah, let me just overtake this guy, maybe. Well, that wasn't necessary. I'm very sure I should use the slower lane. Well, there's a, there's a truck here, like broke down, what? So that's my fourth gear works. Wow, this is really it's uphill. So I've passed the uh, halfway point. Still a while to go. So now it's going down slope. I have to watch out for the speed. I think it's a high time to stick in the middle lane. What do you think, guys? I think I can do a 70 miles per hour with this car kind of slope, but uh, maybe not. We'll see. Woohoo! Nice! Free fall! Yeah! 70! It's wonderful! It's fun! Well, you don't get to do it often, for sure. <laughs> So I need to uh, exit in front, so it seems. Right, there you go. That was fun. Um, okay, so... This one is highway all the way uh, in front. Do I need to turn right? No. Nope. Yet another is going straight, I think. Okay, the truck turned away. 
Let me go back here. And uh, yet yeah, another long straight road. Nice and sunny over here. Right. Should I, should I not? Maybe stay on this lane. Maybe overtake. I don't know. This is fine. No, there's some trucks in front. After this red car, let's move out again. In about 8 hours and 49 minutes, I'll reach my destination, current speed that I'm doing. Um, wow, just nice. I've got to visit... Ooh. i got to visit a, a rest stop, pro probably before that. I need to pull over here. Hey, have they removed the uh, the speed limit sign? Interesting. I thought there's always a 15 mile per hour speed limit. Alright, so gross is 72,000. Okay, I have to wait until this truck go over. I think probably I need to rest. 7 p.m. maybe you know I used to do something crazy like I'll, I'll squeeze out by this this side over here um, yeah I do that last time so uh, well I mean I think after this few car after this one maybe after a white car this truck should start moving I really hope it does come on man no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Oh man, really? I'm wasting time here. Right, I think after this like a uh, red car, it's really go start to go. No? Wow, seriously, it's not moving at all. It's okay. The car will kind of like give way. You just have to move. In this moment, what should I do, really? This guy is like uh, blocking me at all. Okay, let's go. Go, 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 go. So we go a double overtake. <laughs> I think the cars in front behind me will be cursing like, what in the world this guy is doing? But yeah, can't stand them. I think this guy is going to be uh, rather hard to park. <laughs> long trailers usually do, and this particular truck has a really long nose. It doesn't help at all. But part of the challenge, though, I mean, if it is, if it is just like uh, trucking from A to B, it's probably not that interesting. But there are things like picking up the trailer, you know, dropping off the trailer kind of thing, make it a little bit more interesting, varied. Um, so each car, like um, transport, is different. 
우런 It's a lot of wind, uh, windmill in front uh. Police car Another police car When when is a good time to overtake all these guys here? Hmm. After uh, maybe after the red car, I could be able to do it. Yep. Okay, now it's uh we are doing all right. And the I prefer to rest when it's about uh, 7 p.m. because I'll be waking up in 5 a.m. I think 8 p.m. is a nice time to, to go to bed um, in this game so you wake up at about 6 a.m. sun is rising just nice Yeah, you know the blinking light, it kind of reflect onto my interior But just now if you manage to see it Yeah, it's interesting I'm wondering when they will add more trucks inside this game Because now we only have like a two brands and each brand has two models So I don't know what you guys do when you're trucking. I usually just uh, take a look at the scenery around, like a little house just now passed by. Because I think in real life as well, when you're driving for hours, um, it is those little things that you see that keep you going, <laughs> kind of thing. So yeah, something that keep the game or the, uh, the journey interesting. Um, yep. So yeah, another overtaking opportunity coming up and the maybe after this car Maybe not uh, Okay, after this car Six hours and three more minutes I'll reach one minute <laughs> There's a whole line of trucks in front. So these are the concrete, I think, for building or whatnot. This guy is like, um, maybe just off there to pick up something. Then we have the, well, the jam brick around everywhere. Then we have this guy here because of the car that pulled over. Typical. And another truck in front. The car is doing rather slow. Come on, pick up speed. Pick up speed. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Another truck here And uh, I think one more in front that I can go back in Maybe not This looks like a lot of trucks in front though Convoy So I'm going to stay on this lane for good for a while um, Yeah, my time is doing pretty well A rather slow moving police car stalking a truck and it break as well because they are traffic joining the road these are the uh, heavy machineries rather heavy a farm on the right hand side saw some farming equipment 
Up ahead is uh, Auckland, San Francisco. Five more hours to go. Another heavy machinery overtaking. Quick, what truck is this? I think it's a Camworth W900. Or Peterbilt, I don't know. Look the same to me. I think it's more like a Peterbilt, the one that I'm driving. Alright, so I think in front I can just cut back in now that um, all the trucks are gone. Oh, there's another accident, is it? <laughs> yeah, this is a thing that uh, to keep you on the toe, like uh, what needs to be done and so on. So I tell you what, I, let me just plan my route a little bit because in about three or more hours time, I need to rest. I could, um, I could rest over here. I could rest over this side here. Maybe I'll rest after I pass by. The, the Stockton uh, before St. Raphael then I'll rest it over here then my uh, my destination in the Ukiah alright so in case if you wonder why there aren't any traffic like uh, I just now the video before it's because I just had my lunch, uh, dinner uh, it's one thing good about this game is that you could uh, just pause it anytime save the progress even when you're doing a world of truck external contract uh, do your own thing and uh, come back to it so long as you finish the job within uh, 24 hours i think well depending on the uh, job description itself but uh, it's one thing i like about this game you have to sit down for like one hour delivering good uh, you can see that 21 hours are remaining this is a real time clock not the uh, not the one that according to the uh, game time so it's, it's it's rather forgiving, I would say. So you can do your stuff like uh, do grocery or just go out, do stuff, come back and continue to truck. So as I was saying, um, I need to find a place to rest before 7 p.m. would be ideal so that when I wake up, it would be about well, before 8 p.m. I think it would be ideal. Or do I, I don't have to actually. So I'm gonna exit here going up the flyover thing going to San Rafael I think of whether I should uh, go, maybe I should well, but this car is going so slow <laughs> you can see a blinking light in my interior as well. Neat, huh? Time to go back in. Yeah, I thought it was a 55 mile per hour. So I'll break a bit. Um, didn't have to.
Okay, so there is like um, ah, you know what? Let me just push on. Um, yeah. <coughs> Bless you. That's my wife. Uh, Well, there's a toll station here. <laughs> it's the first time I'm seeing it. In America, truck simulator, there's a toll. Alright. $25. Wow, this is new to me. Well, there's a very fast moving truck on my side. Wow, cars are going so far as here. Sun is setting. Rather glaring. I must be facing west or something like that. Why? 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 Oh, because of the speed limit. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Alright, in another two hours time, I should reach my destination at uh, Ukiya, Ukiya. Sixty-five, seventy. <laughs> yeah, the sunset over the uh, mountain is nice, huh? Now it's look a little bit dark over here. Pretty smart the way they do it. I think I should be overtaking soon. Otherwise. And I suspect my exit should be coming up soon as well. So how does it work? This, uh, this, this guy is not going fast. Neither am I. So I need to uh, cut back in, I think, after this. Um, okay, so...
when would it be a good time? Okay, let me come back in here. I think, um, yeah, because it's only 20 odd minutes, so I'll be very surprised if the next exit is not mine. Look at it, the dusk. It's all pinkish. Right, yep, so I was right. Next exit. Uh. So let me check out this side is clear. This side is also clear. Let's go. Thirty miles per hour speed limit. California. And go into Walmart. Huh. I suspect. I think this should be a one near to uh, nearer to the entrance. So here we go. So I'm going to just like uh, pause the recording. So I maneuver this guy into the thing here. So I'm going to go all the way here, strengthen the truck. Then I'll probably take me a few rounds in order to get there. All right. So see you later. So welcome back. Uh, managed to park it in this slot here. Um, not that hard. Uh, I never quite liked the launch trailer. <laughs> okay, now just uh, lowering the leg. And let me see the result screen. Da, 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 da. A total of 954 miles. So it's still, I think I need about two more jobs of similar nature to get to a level 36. Um, yeah, so. Again, I mean, it's just uh, just another progress update on where I am right now. Um, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, Happy New Year again. Alright, see you next time. Goodbye.